to start! Hello, Lyubov. Thank you very much for your time. Um, can you tell us something about your personal career as a gymnast? Thank you very much for the invitation and thank you for doing this interview with me. My career as a sportsman um, has ended. Now I have a new career and I'm a coach. Um, but I'm really happy that I won bronze medal at the Olympic Games and also two gold medals at European Championships and especially because it was at home here in Minsk. After the Olympic Games in London, I finished my sports career. I think I've done everything I wanted to do in gymnastics. So now I'm, I'm mainly a coach, but besides that I also have a um, function in the National Olympic Committee here in Belarus, in the Commission for Women in Sports, and I'm the athletes representative in, at the International Gymnastics Federation. So that's quite a busy life now. Um, uh, what is your main job? Yes, I'm, I'm quite busy, um, but my main job is coaching. Um, I stay in, in the hall most of the time. And are you training here in Minsk? Yes, I work in Minsk uh, with the national team in rhythmic gymnastics and individuals. Um, so that is Militina Stanyuta, Ekaterina Galkina, Irina Sharapova, Jena Bolotina, Anya Bashko, and many other girls. What is the importance of a coach as a gymnast? Hmm, I don't know. Um, I believe um, they calm you down, they believe in your abilities, and of course they know their athletes. So when the gymnast is ready to go out on the carpet, they know that everything is okay. Irina Leparskaya does that so well. When she stands behind you, I always thought, yes, everything is good. She's so calm, I just went and did my job. Now I try to do the same with my girls, so when I stand behind Militina or Katya, I want them to know that everything is okay. Is it a big change to become a coach? Uh, yes, and a lot of things need to change. Um, I used to train with Militina and Katya. It's a bit complicated now in training. Um, I sometimes feel bad for Militina and also for Katya. As a coach, I demand a full exercise or a part of an exercise, but as a friend, I know that, for example, their knee or their back hurts, so I need to find a balance between the coach and the friend. Most important, are you still friends now? Yes, it's difficult because... It's a bit hard to explain, but um, uh, when I was a gymnast, we used to live together, we used to work together, we told each other secrets. And now Mil Militina knows that things have changed be between us, and she, for example, she can't tell any secrets anymore, and she needs to do um, what I tell her to. So that makes it quite difficult. And to be honest, it hasn't happened that we clashed a bit. Me against Militina, Militina against me. But, you know, time passes, we both know the situation now, and Militina is a grown-up, and I'm a grown-up. Um, you are also athlete representative for FIG. Um, what does that actually mean, and how much time do you need to invest in this? Um, I'm happy with this job. It's a new experience for me. Um, I'm quite glad to meet the people at the FIG, like Bruno Grande, Andre Geisbuller, and the whole technical committee. Um, it's a good job, but it, it's also quite complicated because you have such a young discipline. For example, during World Championships, we held a meeting for all athletes. Of course, several gymnasts came and we talked. We, um, we talked about things that could change, could improve our art sport, but it's quite complicated. 
If they were a bit older, it would have been it would be easy to form their own opinion. They they would be able to raise their hand and say, okay, gymnastics should be like this, this, this. But in this meeting, I really had to drag the information out of, of them. So I had to ask, what about this? What do you think about that? Where should judges sit? Is that good? Is that bad? And I know that for the gymnast in their mind, they say, oh, what did my coach say? And I understand this situation. But I think it's necessary to have this athlete's representative um, to talk with the girls about the elements, about the rules, when there is a problem, to be able to change this. In the past, there has been problems with judging in rhythmic gymnastics. Is this something that the gymnasts talk a lot about or talk to you about? You know, that's a delicate subject in rhythmic gymnastics. Um, not everyone will be always completely satisfied with the judging. Um, the judges are human beings. Today I like one gymnast and tomorrow I might prefer another. Of course, there are rules that you have to follow. Um, but for example, take artistry. One girl might be fantastic and another one too, but just not for me. So because of this, there's always going to be um, differences. So there's always going to be questions about this. And talking about this actually gets less um, the more experienced gymnasts have because they know that's the way it is. And, you know, so they have to make sure that they have a good exercise, good execution, um, good choreography, and to show an exercise that the audience likes. Even Kudryavtseva, even Mamun. <laughs> Sometimes I would like to ask some questions to judges to inter uh, intervene. Um, it would be interesting to hear their opinion. Have you ever done a judges course? Yeah, I have for a brief. Okay. Do, do you judge often? Uh, yes, I have judged, but I'm... I guess I'm quite young and emotional. When I understand that something is not the way it's supposed to be, I can't keep my mouth shut. I will tell like this, like this. Look here, it's written in the rules. So when it's written, why don't, don't you do... I prefer to be in the, in the gym on the side of the coaches, not, judge, not as a judge. But... Being a judge has given me the experience um, I need so I can understand the, the way the, sh the gymnasts should do their exercise and what points I deducted. It has been quite useful to do the judges' scores, especially as athletes' representative, but because in technical committee in our meetings, we talk a lot about the rules, so I really need to understand this. Um, I didn't do the highest level, you know, category four is just being a line judge. Important question, what do you think about the current state of rhythmic gymnastics in Belarus? How is the team doing? When we talk about our junior group, they are truly the best in Europe. It's nice to see this uh, because we know that they have a an, an fantastic exercise and it's nice to see that also the judges think, think that they have. It's not the first year that we show that we have an excellent junior group, but this year we have chosen more grown-up music and a more grown-up exercise. I have to tell you that our, our junior group was um, the only group who actually held the ball in one hand, uh, which is a base of rhythmic gymnastics. Um, you see all other ways of holding the ball, um, and even with the legs or with the shoulders, um, but with one hand, which is truly showing class. I'm so happy with our team today. They they went into the final. They knew that they were fighting for a medal, but still they went for their exercise, which means like ball in one hand means in one hand, not taking your other hand closing. No, our team, our Belarusians, know that even when they are under stress, they have to do what the training told them to. When we talk about our senior group, um, I'm quite happy that they are now going to uh, participate in the first European Games. 
In what shape they are? Well, um, normal, we still have some time left before the European Games, so we'll manage to be in top shape. Them, then I'm quite happy that we turned in a different way. We now have one serious composition, which is quite slow with the ribbon. When they perform, spectators will understand that the beauty of this exercise and will be delighted at the end. It takes hard work to achieve this form of clean exercise. Our second um, routine is more dynamic. We chose the music by um, Belarusian, I don't really know, a singer of a, or a composer, Kamerati. Um, they use only their voices. In any case, I want to wish the girls good luck. We have a young team, but then again, most teams are young. In any case, I just wish the girls good luck, because the team is young, but all teams are young. So, so they have to work. And Stanyuta and Halkina are on extremely high level, quite close to Russia. Um, what do you think needs to change and develop a bit more to beat Russia? Uh, that's always a difficult question. I actually think it's going to be quite difficult for Russia now because we have both Militina Stanyuta and Yekaterina Galkina on almost the same level. They can still grow and our competitors always make mistakes. Because of this, I think it's really interesting for the whole world of gymnastics. There is competition within the Russian team, and now there is also Belarus who is pushing them. Um, but we will see. There is also Gana Rizadinova, there is also Neta Rivkin, there is also Yang Shi, Yang Shi, and there is the Japanese girls. There's actually many good gymnasts now. And what do you hope for for World Championships? Oh. It's going to be tough championships. Um, it's going to be long, more than two weeks, and for me that's always difficult. It's tough because a lot of administration needs to be done, paperwork, um, sorting out um, documents. Um, I'm a person who needs to move. I'm still an athlete and hugged, so it's tough for me to be in a closed environment for so long. If you look at these European championships, you see that the, the middle level countries, like for example Finland, Hungary, uh, Slovenia, they have all increased a lot. So I don't know, it will be a really tough battle to get into the top 15. And second of all, not only the physical preparation, but also the mental preparation is essential. Um, if you have gymnasts who focus too much, I think too much about reaching that top 15, it's not going to work. If you think too much about going to the Olympics, it's not going to work out. What you have to do is do a good exercise and then that we'll see what God decides. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon.